This is one of those probably forever cars. He has always had a dream to have a white with blue stripe Mustang, particularly a GT350, because back in the mid to late 60s, there was this beautiful first ever GT350, and that's what he grew up with. Then in 1970, what, two, three, there was a, a Mustang II King Cobra with the same color scheme, a crappy car, ugly car, but if you know anything about 1970s supermodels, Farrah Fawcett, the Charlie's Angel, has a picture posing on that hood, and he's like, well, I have to, I have to get one. So it's one of those nostalgic things where you, you love, and you just have to go with. So, like I said, we found this car, uh, it was white with blue stripes, and I, after he saw it for the first time, he was just convinced, like, I I'm just, just have to have it. GT350 Specialties. It's a 5.2 liter Voodoo engine code flat plane crank. Um, it's got Magna Ride. It's got big, big brakes. Big brakes. You can beat this car into the ground and it'll go into limp mode before you can hurt these brakes, which is impressive. Little, little tiny bits. Uh, it's got an intake filter, a, a long tube headers brand uh, cat delete X pipe, and catch cans by JLT and that's all you really need to do to this car besides a lower treadwear tire on the on the car. It's just one of those cars you see driving and you know it's that just something special. It's loud from the factory and it revs to 8250 RPMs. <laughs> this has got to be this has got to be one of the coolest sounding cars. We see this all the time, and I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, everyone. We say this all the time. This car sounds sick. This car is amazing. This car is that. This car is the other thing. This is one of the most exotic cars I've ever heard, period. So exotic. This is Dylan meeting a hero. In all seriousness, I have been Mr. Mustang since a kid. I've loved Mustangs from the Fox body to the 65. They are just my my muscle car of choice. And it, originally being a pony car, I got a cyclist here. Please hold. I've just loved Mustangs growing up. One of my favorite Mustangs, the Cobra SVT. Uh, independent rear end. Aero from the factory, really cool car. So I've just been attracted to Mustangs for whatever reason. And this is, this has gotta be the ultimate for me. It's a flat plane crank 350. Wow. Wow. This car can rev out to, what, 82? 100 RPM or something. My little inline four can't even get to 7,500. That's crazy. That is unheard of for a V8. And it, it wants to go there power band wise. Like I'm, I'm honestly, I'm putzing around three, 3,500 RPM. And it's just getting started. This is nothing. Whereas on an LS engine or an LT engine, you know, this is prime real estate for any sort of torque. Any, any RPM, GM's delivering the torque. Whereas this, it's, it's got to rev out a little more for that power. But, man, that noise, that noise, oh my God. I, I'm in this and I, I know I'm out of my element. I know there is a side to this car that I'm, I'm not, I haven't discovered yet and I don't want to discover that you gotta be on your toes. You gotta have your A game driving this car. And I'm by no means gonna push this thing to its limit. Let's try to get up there. Oh my God. Oh my God. We just, we just left 11s on the road, folks. Wow. 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 That's what I mean. You gotta be on your game with this car. You've gotta be on your game. So first impressions are definitely, this is a car you gotta respect. The clutch is weird in this car, 
it's got this it's it's got this inconsistency in the pressure it's initially hard and then becomes lighter and then as you go down so it's like a little hard and then lightens right up and then to release it it's light and then gets hard again so that's been some taking some getting used to Yeah, the power band for this car is up top. I don't even think I got that high in, but, you know, I don't think I got to 8,000 RPM there, but that is where the power is. And that is, whoa, baby. All right, 2016 Mustang GT350 with X-Pipes. This is the flat plane crank V8 that everybody hyped up and it is 100% everything I wanted it to be and more. Uh, I'm probably just, I'm gonna put the windows down here real quick so you guys can enjoy this as much as I'm about to. They don't rev over six grand, typically. This revs higher than my K24. This revs to 8,250. Like 8,250 RPM. And Chris told me, he's like, you're gonna feel like you wanna shift. Do not shift, keep going. And it's squirrely Dan. Like I am zero out of 10 gonna crash this car because this is like a rare car, an incredible car, and we are graced with the ability to come out here and drive this car. So thank you actually to Chris's dad. This is Chris's dad's car. Uh, you have, I've driven this for a minute and you have one hell of a car here. Now that I've had a second to catch my breath, interior is, unbelievably refined um, it's got nice little uh, oil pressure gauges oil temp gauges that look like dashboard gauges but they're or like gauge cluster gauges but they're built into the center console and they look like they belong there I looked at them for a second I thought they were clocks and they are these like really nice quality gauges everything in this is nice This is, I'm gonna say it right now. This is the best sounding car I have ever heard in my entire life. I don't even wanna go full throttle on it. Because I'm, A, because I'm terrified. This thing makes like 550 wheel, or crank, horsepower, which is <clears throat> still probably like high 400s. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not ready for that yet. Mind, body, spirit, it's not there. This review should just be 15 minutes of me cruising with this thing at 42 miles an hour in fourth gear. It just sounds that good. I'm just gonna do some windows down driving because you guys deserve to. This is more important than this.
couple minutes of uh, calming time before we film this, but that car scared me. We also rode in his 650 horsepower Speed 6, which we'll review next year, and I was less afraid in the passenger seat of that than I was in the driver's seat of a 550 horsepower Mustang, as you saw by the like first second gear burnout that I almost <laughs> unintentionally did. Uh, that thing, it sounds incredible, but like it has it has an angry side yeah. that comes out very easily. Yeah. Yeah, and I know we say a lot in our reviews, man, this car sounds so good. This has got to be one of the most exotic it's the best sounding best car. car I've ever heard. And like, what, you were, what was the hybrid that you are saying? Uh, AMG versus Ferrari, like they had a baby. Yes. Yeah. And it really is like that. You've got the burbles, but you've got that like scream to it as just, well. Yeah. It is such a crazy sound. That alone just adds to the theater. And it revs it. Revs it. Like a V8 that revs to 8250. Yeah. That's nuts. Not a thing. That's not a thing. That is so nuts. Don't be afraid. Stay in it. I'm yeah. afraid. I'm, a, I'm scared. I, I definitely, after witnessing the the white in your face from returning home uh, unscathed, I definitely was probably a little calmer than you were in the drive. Um, but even still, like I, I broke the rear end loose. You yeah. know? And it's not hard. Coming back <laughs> up the hill, I definitely stayed in it up top a lot more. And that's where the power is, which is so unlike other V8s, where it's like, you know, the right, LS or the, the LT video, series, yeah. that it's just a wave of torque right from the get-go that's just going to push you along where this is, you know, you do rev it out and when you do, the theater's crazy! The noise, the power, the everything, it's just, what a car. <laughs> yeah. What a car. It's definitely, so, definitely a beast. And like, the more I sit here, I want to drive it again, but we'll see, I'll scare myself again, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> it's cool. To, the fact that a Mustang is like this yeah. now, is just such a cool thing. And I think as an American company, it's not that I'm like beating my chest America over here, but that it, it's a pretty cool car to be like proud that that came out of our country. Mm -hmm. Like that can compete with likes of AMG and a lot of these German companies that we have been light years behind for such a long time. And now Ford makes that, that you can just buy with right. a warranty. Right. You can drive that off a What? Lot. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so anyway, Hopefully we'll do some more American Muscle Cars here soon as well. Uh, to stay tuned for more reviews, click that subscribe button down below. If you like the video, please hit the like button. It helps get the word out and spread our channel to the masses. So thanks for that, and stay tuned. Okay.